Good afternoon. I hope this daily connection finds you well. This Sunday we're going to hear from Psalm 23 again, and I know we read that a few weeks ago, and uh, it comes up again in the lectionary today, or for this Sunday, as it is Shepherd Sunday. It's the fourth Sunday after Easter, and I asked um, our happy hour group last night, what is it about Psalm 23 that people like, or don't like for that matter? Um, I was talking to some friends of mine about what is it about Psalm 23? And in short, it is familiar. It is something we can rattle off the words to. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. We can just rattle it off. And more than anything, it reminds us that God is with us. And I think even that message holds true today when we received word from Governor Walls that we will be uh, having to stay in our homes for an additional two weeks. And I think at some level, we all knew it was coming. Um, and yet, it just seems a little daunting. So on this beautiful, sunshiny day, where it seems as though when you look out that nothing is wrong in the world, it's simply gorgeous and beautiful, we know that there's a lot more at hand. So to hear the words that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, it is comforting to know that surely goodness and mercy shall be with me, and I will have God with me my whole life long. Those are comforting words to hear in a time such as this. I hope you're doing well, my friends. I hope you are able to enjoy some of this beautiful sunshine. I know that we are. And I hope that you are able to find light and love and hope in these days. God's blessings be with you on this day and in the days ahead. Remember that tomorrow's Gratitude Friday. Think about some things that you are grateful for. And this Sunday is a communion Sunday. So make sure you have some communion elements available so that we can bless them and partake together. God's peace be with you. I'll see you tomorrow.